Hello everyone, welcome to day 18th of April Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanchez Rodej, I am working as a software developer for at Adobe and today I present day 661 of daily Lead Code Challenge. The question that we have in today is kth smallest element in a BST. Here in this question we are given a binary search tree and we need to identify the kth smallest element that exists in this tree. So here they have provided us with few examples and I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 230, kth smallest element in a binary search tree. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case if you have any doubt or you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to ping on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded. Both the links are mentioned in the description below. Without further ado, let's walk through the test case that was specified in the equation. We have the binary search tree as this one and the value of k is 3. That means we are looking for the third smallest number. Let's go back to the property of binary search tree. Binary search tree says that all the left child with respect to the current node will be smaller in nature and all the right child of the binary search tree with respect to the current node will be greater in nature. And we already are aware of that the in order traversal of the binary search tree is sorted in nature. So let's perform the in order traversal of this binary search tree. What do you get? You'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll get the elements as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So one of the simplest ways to cast this tree into an array and then identify the third element in that array. That would be the kth smallest element. This is a naive approach that comes to everybody's mind that let's do an in order traversal and let's cast this entire tree into uh, an array and then we can pick up the third element from that array that will give us the result. However, is this casting actually needed? It's not. It is adding to extra space complexity of size n which we can avoid. How can we do that? We can do it in place while traversing through uh, this binary search tree in an in order fashion. What I'm trying to say, let's walk through an example and you'll understand. Let's shoot for iterating over the in order traversal for this binary search tree and as per the in order traversal the way to go is left info right. Uh, so we are given the root of the binary search tree as 5. Let's proceed ahead and let's perform the left info right over it. So let's invoke in order over 5. I'm writing in means in order over 5. The first thing that I'm going to do is this one and the value of where remains as 3. So let's proceed ahead. Next since 5 has uh, the left child as 3 so recursively we will first invoke in order on 3 so in order on 3 gets invoked next we have 3 also have 2 as its left child so in order of 2 will be first invoked in order of 2 and since 2 also has a left child which is 1 so in order of 1 will be invoked Now let's continue it further. Uh, you see, you can see that the left child of one is null and that means it has been visited. We'll obviously not go towards in, in order of null because it's already null. Now it's time to visit the info node. Since it's time to visit the info node, what is that node? Uh, that node is one. That means you have identified the smallest element that exists in your binary search tree. And since you have identified and you are visiting the info node, what you are going to do? You simply reduce the value of k. The value of k gets updated to 2. The smallest element that you have identified happens to be 1, which is a first leaf node. And then you will move towards the rightmost direction and you will invoke uh, in order on null again. Since it's null, uh, you will uh, traverse back and this node has completely been visited. Left node has been visited the info node has been visited and the right node has also been visited this completes the iteration for this entire node so this is gone so we are going in the reverse direction now let's shoot for this particular one in order of two and since its left child has been visited now what we are going to do we'll invoke over the info node since we are iterating over its info node we will reduce the value of k by one so one gets updated to k gets updated to one and the second smallest node that we were able to identify is this one that is 2. Now we will shoot for iterating over its right child. The right child of 2 is null. Since it's null obviously we are not going to go in in its depth. We will proceed ahead. So this completes the in order of 2 as well. Its left node has been visited. Its info node has been visited. Its right node has also been visited. Now comes the case where we are 
iterating over in order of three as you can see we have successfully iterated over its left child that was one and two and this is the time to actually identify uh, the info node for three what is the info node for three it is three itself as a result of which we will simply reduce the value of k to zero since the value of k has been reduced at this particular position to zero that becomes your answer this node is your answer which is three had it been the case, the value of k would have been 4 initially, then at this particular position it would have been reduced to 1 and we would have iterated over its right child in order to check for whether a node exists over there or not, which in this case it does and then we would have performed in order on 4 in order to achieve our answer. I hope this algorithm is clear to you. You are not doing anything extra apart from the in order traversal and you are simply reducing the value of k as you are progressing in the in order traversal. So uh, let, to conclude it further, uh, let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll conclude it there. Here I have created two variables. One is the count which, will, uh, which is a copy of k and uh, the other is the one for storing the result. And uh, in the ks smallest method, I simply update count to k and I invoke my ks smallest util. I pass in the root and in the end I simply return the result. So the problem lies in uh, writing this helper method appropriately. In case my root happens to be null, I simply return back, otherwise I go in the in order traversal. In order traversal means left part first. Once I am done with this, I simply reduce the count value. In, if, in case my count happens to be 0, I update my result to root.val and I simply return back from there. Otherwise I go ahead and iterate over my right child, or that is root.right. So, as per this logic, this is iterating over its left child, this is iterating over its root and this is iterating over its, its right child. So left info right and once I am done with this, we simply return back. The time complexity of this approach is equal to the time complexity of in order traversal which is in the worst case is order of n and the space complexity is order of log n which is the height of the binary search tree. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for being it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.